Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and you are watching Backup Baba. I hope you guys have gone through my previous videos and you must have found it informative. So yesterday uh, I was going through the Commvault website and then I came to know like Commvault has launched their latest service pack uh, which is 32. So earlier it was service pack 30. Then I decided uh, why not to create a video for my viewers on how to upgrade a service pack from version X to version Y. So today uh, this video is going to be all about the service pack upgradation process. So in this video I am going to show you how to install the latest service pack uh, which include the latest performance, the latest features and the latest hotfixes. So before I start uh, the configuration part I request if you are new to the channel please do not forget to subscribe my channel and hit the like button uh, which help us to motivate and uh, boost us to create more and more videos uh, for all of you. So before wasting our time, uh, let's start the service pack upgradation process. So let me open the console console. So here you need to click on Commvault console console. So today uh, we are going to uh, do the whole process uh, through the console console. So let me put the credentials. Yeah, so we have successfully logged into the console console. So once you come in the bottom, you can see uh, uh, like I'm currently I'm using uh, 11.30 service pack. And uh, to, in today in this video, I'm going to upgrade it to 11.32. So guys, one thing uh, you have to understand, uh, like there are two methods uh, to do the upgradation process. First is via the console console and second is by downloading the uh, complete setup. So today in this video, I'm going to showcase you via the console console. So uh, if you are doing with the console console, then you must have an uh, internet connection on your server. Then only you will be able to download the software. So make sure you have an internet connection on your server. But in case if you have restrictions over your server, you cannot uh, give the internet to your directly to your server, then uh, you need to come to the configuration option. So here in internet option section, you just need to click. So in this tab, uh, you can configure an internet gateway and we can also do this through our metric server or you can choose a client uh, which has internet connection to proxy the connection through our concrete. So here from here you can choose the client who has the internet connection. So now coming to the next tab. So here you are going to choose HTTP or HTTPS uh, which will allow us the faster download method to our objects. Yeah, so coming to the third tab. So in this uh, tab if our console does have internet connection However, uh, if you want to take the advantage of a proxy, uh, you can configure this from here. Now in my case, I'm not going to configure anything because I have a internet directly internet connection over my server. So just I'm clicking OK. So after configuring the internet connection on your server, uh, you have to come on this tool option. So once you click on tool, uh, you will get two options, uh, add remove software and user preference. So you need to click on add remove software. So here you can see uh, there are multiple options available. So out of these, you have to click on download software. So once you click the download button, uh, you will get a pop-up. So in this pop-up, you will get uh, three options. So out of these three, uh, we are going to choose the third one. That is the feature release. So once you click on the choose the feature release, uh, you will get the options to choose like which on which service pack or on which maintenance release you want to upgrade the server. So in my case, I'm going to choose the service feature release 11.32 uh, with maintenance release 6. So 6 is the latest maintenance release. So I'm going to choose this only. So once you choose, just click on OK. And once you click OK, a download process will start. So here you can see uh, there is an operation job has started uh, whose name is download software. So I guess the software size is will be around uh, 5 to 6 GB. 
so you have to wait uh, till the download got completed so once it got completed uh, we'll get back So guys, here you can see our download has successfully completed. So now uh, what we will do, uh, we will try to install the service pack uh, which we have downloaded uh, with the help of Comcell console. So for that, uh, you need to click on add remove software, uh, just left hand side at the top. So once you click, uh, you will get the first option that is upgrade software. So you have to click on upgrade software. So once you click, uh, it will ask, so either you want to install uh, the service pack on the client computers or you want to install it on the client computer group also. So here I'm going to select the client computer. So by default, whatever the client uh, which is available in the client computer that will get selected. And first the software will try to upgrade uh, the comserve and, the, um, and then after media agent and then after the clients. So this is the sequence uh, for up upgrading uh, the service pack on the clients. So here in the reboot options, uh, you will get three options. Uh, do not reboot, record if required, always reboot. So here I am selecting reboot if required. And there is two more options, run database maintenance and install maintenance release only. So I am not going to check uh, on these two options. Now clicking on OK button. So once you click on OK, a prompt will appear uh, which is asking uh, to enter the confirmation text so here we have to enter change control for reboot confirm so this prompt has appeared because we have uh, checked the reboot option now clicking ok so once you click uh, you can see a new job will run uh, yeah so here a new job has started and uh, we have Again, got a prompt that is uh, saying like update will be installed on the comserve and comserve console will get closed shortly. Uh, we will have to log back in again when updates are complete. So here we are going to click on OK. Now just double clicking on this job. So here we can see uh, the status is showing in progress and the region is also showing like update in progress. So we will wait for a few minutes. And let's see uh, what comes next. So we have got an error. Install cannot proceed or uh, load is space on client. So guys, you can see I have got an error. So I'm so sorry that I have only four GB available. So let me do some cleanup on this drive. So here you can see our job has started in the status it is showing uh, the job is in progress and in the region tab also it is showing update in progress. So let's see what comes next. So we will wait for a few minutes to get a next prompt. So guys uh, let me tell you uh, basically there are two process to upgrade the uh, service pack. Uh, one we can do with the help of the comcell console uh, which we are already doing and second we can do uh, with the help of the software so for that uh, we need to uh, download the complete setup and then by using the prompt uh, we, we will get an option to upgrade your service pack from version x to version y so let's see how much time it will take to upgrade uh, with the help of comcell console So guys here you can see uh, I have got a prompt 
uh, that is showing that installing feature release 11.32 and it has completed till 1% now. Also, we had got, got a prompt uh, which is giving an, a warning like our comser will get reconnect because our services is going to restart. That's why we will lost our console console and we will connect it once the services will get restarted. So here I am clicking on no and let me put this prompt in the middle yeah so while upgrading your software uh, you will get this prompt so we have to wait uh, to see the progress in this percentage so guys uh, let me tell you uh, thus uh, upgrading the service pack is not a lengthy process uh, as you have seen like just uh, we need to click on a few buttons and uh, once uh, it uh, the prerequisite got match the installation process already started so there is no such complex task that you need to worry you just need to follow the steps and it will get automatically download up automatically upgrade and it will automatically push the software uh, to the client also so once the our console will get upgraded uh, then after it will try uh, to push that particular latest service back to the media agent and then after it will push to the clients all things uh, are automatically you don't need to do anything manually so guys i hope after viewing this video uh, you will get that much confidence that uh, you are going to upgrade your service pack by your own self so in case if you have uh, any queries uh, please drop your queries in the comment box and I will try to deliver it as soon as possible. So guys as you can see a uh, reboot has uh, been taken so I'm going to enter the credential to log in again so let me close the server manager window and we'll wait some time uh, to resume the updatation process automatically
also here you can see uh, the software is trying to finalize the install and it has raised to 99% so within a few minutes uh, this upgradation process will get completed so let's wait uh, to finalize this installation part So guys here the upgrade process has been completed so let's back to the console console to check uh, the service pack of the software so let me log into the console console so here i need to provide the credentials So we have successfully logged into the comsel console so now let's go to the client computer to check the version of the comserve so here you can see uh, now the service pack has been upgraded from 11.32 earlier it was 11.30 that's all for in this video guys i hope uh, you have found this video informative and please do not forget to subscribe my channel and also hit the like button if you want such more videos like this thank you so much for watching take care goodbye